Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I do for a living. I think of little jokes in my head, and then I tell them to you so that you'll like me. <laughs> Sounds a bit tragic when I say... <laughs> what was that? It's not working. <laughs> well, you can fuck off. <laughs> this is as good as it ever fucking goes. <laughs> I don't come to your work and knock the sailor's cocks out of your mouth, do I? <laughs> Where are you? It's not working, man. Give us a wave. <laughs> what do you do, sir? You, you do telecoms. <laughs> what, what do you do? Do you? I do you. I do you. <laughs> I do you telephone. <laughs> what, sorry? You build them in their work. <laughs> Ironically, you work in communications and can hardly <laughs> can hardly string a fucking sentence together. That's the most annoying heckle that I get at gigs. I like it when people join in. I like a bit of a heckle and a bit of fun. But the most annoying one I get is when I've set up a joke, just about to do the punchline, and someone goes, it's always, invariably it's the same thing, it's always, where's Alan? Where's Alan? It's not my, like, bet noir, it's just a bit annoying. Where's Alan? Where's Alan? <laughs> He's at your house fucking your dad. <laughs> I think we all knew, including him, I think we all knew that was a trap. I could feel you as one going, hold, hold, <laughs> hold. And then one brave soul over there said, no. <laughs> I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> or, rather, your dad is. <laughs> well, that brings me very neatly onto the next bit of material. Who here's got kids? <laughs> yeah. like, kind of, was that? <laughs> what, sorry? What, oh, right, Jimmy? Just, what? What? <laughs> what was that? You chipped in with something. <laughs> go on, Jimmy. You said, go on, Jimmy. Yes. Oh, right, uh, ironically, slowing things down. <laughs> you often do that, just stop people in the street and go, on with, you, on with your day. <laughs> oh, I, was just, I just stopped and just tell you to continue. <laughs> When's the comedy on? <laughs> When's the comedy on? Really? What's your name, sir? Uh, I remember. What's your name? David. David? Yeah. What's your favourite colour, David? Blue. Blue, OK. Seems like the fairest way to deal with you, David. There are so many things I could say. <laughs> Number between one and eight, David. Six. Six. Okay, and you said to me, when's the comedy on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it, says, it says, if you want my comeback, you'll have to scrape it off your mum's teeth. <laughs> These things don't lie, David. These things don't lie. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. She swallowed the lot. <laughs> Were you bullied at school, sir? Was I bullied at school? <coughs> no. <laughs> what, sorry? You are a faggy twat. But I am a faggy twat. <laughs> We're all having fun, I'll just open this can of whoop-ass. <laughs> Pop that there. You're remarkably uh, confident for a man in, in some sort of hooded top. <laughs> what do you do for a living, sir? Do you mind me asking? I'm a student. You're a student, and what, what are you studying? Uh, I'm still in the secondary school in Ireland. You're still in secondary school <laughs> in Ireland? <laughs> and what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> What, sorry? A lawyer. You want to be a lawyer? So you know you're a cunt, you're going down that road. <laughs> and who are you here with this evening? I'm alone. You're alone? <laughs> so, so far, we know you're alone... <laughs> ..and you're a bit of a cunt. <laughs> I'm liking you, frankly. <laughs> 
What's your name, sir? Chris. Chris. Hi, Chris. You alright? And have you just come over for the show, or have you come over for the weekend? Just come over for the show. Well, God bless you, Chris. Feel free to join in any time you want. <laughs> the more aggressive, the better, frankly. <laughs> I quite like it. <laughs> oh, what, sorry? Tosser. Tosser. Right. <laughs> just around, just tosser. <laughs> yeah, you know you're in fucking Glasgow, don't you, where <laughs> someone pays you 22 50 to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> So why don't we have a heckle amnesty, a little two, three minutes, where you can just fill your boots, if you've got something abusive to shout, <laughs> have at it. Well <laughs> have you actually got Tourette's? That was, that was so quick. <laughs> Can't fuck bum. <laughs> and fuck bum, that's such a weird thing to shout, fuck bum. <laughs> Find the rudest words you know. <laughs> fuck cunt bum. Any other heckles? What, sorry? <laughs> Peter Kay was sold out, so you had to come here. <laughs> yeah. Unlucky. I bet he wouldn't have called you a cunt. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not Peter Kay. <laughs> cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Any other ultimate sexual fantasy? My girlfriend. <laughs> well, maybe we could double team her. <laughs> my girlfriend is your ultimate sexual fantasy. <laughs> yes, people see my girlfriend and they see me and they say, she's only going out with you because you're famous. And I say, but I am famous. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> is, is that your girlfriend? That is my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend? <laughs> I'm not going to swap if that's OK. <laughs> Can I just clarify, you are a beautiful lady, no disrespect to you, <laughs> but he heckled, I had to put him down, <laughs> and the only way to get to him was through you. <laughs> I like the way as well, I suggested your girlfriend wasn't good looking enough, and you applauded. <laughs> yeah, you'll be using those hands later on, won't you? <laughs> Has anyone here been to Alton Towers? Yeah. Yes. What do you think? Do you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah it's great. Shit. <laughs> Go on, who was that? Was you? <coughs> Did you have a shit time? It was awful. My God. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> you robbed a fruit machine. You ro <laughs> the, sorry, the best thing about Alton Towers was we robbed a fruit machine. <laughs> that is an amazing sentence. <laughs> sorry, sir, your time as the gypsy this evening is now. <laughs> it's now over. <laughs> that is. Forget it. Forget it, you have been outchaved. <laughs> well, to, well, you went to Walton Towers and your complaint was not enough to nick. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you're using now an expression of yeah, you rob a fruit, you see a fruit machine, you rob a fruit machine. <laughs> come on, we're friends, we all come on. You know I'm a guy, you're a guy, we steal things from fruit machines. <laughs> no! <laughs> What's your name, sir? Daniel. Daniel. Well, nice to meet you, Daniel. What do you do? <laughs> Unless you're the cleaner, <laughs> they've made a massive error of judgment. <laughs> so how long have you been casing this joint? <laughs> About a year. And when's the big job? <laughs> this is great. Do I get paid extra if this ends up on Crime Watch? <laughs> Why do I laugh like a sexual predator? <laughs> I like the way that a sexual predator sounds better in your accent than any other. A sexual predator. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I laugh like that. It's one of life's mysteries, in the same way as why are you dressed as a gay lumberjack. <laughs> we, we may never know. I like big, thick logs. Hmm. Yeah. How big's my cock? Well, I'm, I'm not sure whether your mother would be comfortable discussing it, but it's... <laughs> Speaking of which, did you all see that heartbreaking story in the Mirror newspaper last year? Yeah. They ran a campaign... <laughs> <laughs> Are 
Are you showing off to the other children? <laughs> Are you pretending you can read? <laughs> By heartbreaking story, do you mean the tits on page three? <laughs> what, sorry? Whack and fap and fap fap. So I'm fine for fruit and veg, thank you. <laughs> I presume that's what he's talking about. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's nice that you're here, though. It's a night off for someone, isn't it? I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's one of Wittgenstein's theorems. <laughs> um, you'd suck off his mum. <laughs> He's done you. He has done you. I, I, I'm not from Perth, so I may never have to make that decision. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. You sound like you come from a very broken home. I'm not suggesting you fucked your mum, but only because you wouldn't want to two-time your sister. What's your favourite position? I like reverse cowgirl, but, you know, <laughs> I'm old-fashioned that way. Uh, what, what's yours, sir? Various, various. Various. <laughs> I think I can... It's a match, eh? Pick and mix. Yeah, I imagine well, it's either that... <laughs> ..or that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe better that, who knows? What hotel? <laughs> ah, well, it's quite a posh one, so it'll have to be your place. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think they'll, they'll let you in. They've got a policy on that sort of thing. <laughs> and even though I'm not paying you, it looks like I am. How old? What? How old? Yeah, fuck grammar, we're in a hurry. <laughs> how lazy is that? How old? Not how old are you or would you mind telling us how old you are? How old? 12. Well, I, well, have a guess. How old do you think I am? Twelve. <laughs> you think I'm twelve? <laughs> well, you shouldn't even be having those kind of thoughts about me, then. <laughs> Why do I look like Hitler? <laughs> nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Sorry? Who? Any others? What? Sorry? I've got, I've got a big nose. <laughs> what are you, fucking retarded? I, I mean, I literally don't have a big nose. <laughs> that's a weird hat. That's like an insult you've heard someone else use. And you've gone, I've got a big fucking laugh. That's going to work best with a comic with a big nose. What's your name, sir? Thomas. What do you do, Thomas? You're a student. What are you studying? Uh, mathematics. <laughs> Are you at school, Thomas? <laughs> I don't know if we should continue this any further, cos it's starting to feel like grooming. <laughs> Are you at school? Yeah, I'm at school. <laughs> you got a big nose. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> any other heckles? <laughs> oh, what was that? That sounded good. Go on, what was that? <laughs> what was it? <laughs> oh, I'm a paedophile. I was just fucking chatting to him. I've done nothing. <laughs> let's have a round of applause for the ladies. Let's have a round of... Yeah, let's have a round of applause for the ladies. Yeah, yeah, quite right, yeah. That's, actually, that's... That's probably enough. Looking round, some of them have made no effort. <laughs> You've not made an effort, have you? You've not made an effort, have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him. Mongo, no lie. <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> and so your comment there is that I haven't made much of an effort. Well, there's some cameras and some fucking lights. I don't know what you had in mind. 
That's not like a come to your work and knock the sailor's cocks out your mouth, is it? <laughs> Seems like a very weird thing from a quite a tough looking man from Glasgow to say. Oh, you've not made much of an effort. <laughs> I thought you'd be dressed up prettier. <laughs> it's a little bit prison rape coming from you, sir. <laughs> that's what it feels like. What, sorry? Is that Buckfast? No, that's water. You've probably heard of it. Who's the most famous person I've ever met? Well, I, I once met her. Uh, the um, well, it's quite an impressive one. I don't want to show off, but you know, you know, you know, no, you know how villages have got idiots, yeah? <laughs> I met the idiot for the whole of Glasgow. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's, uh... One of the biggest cunts in the world, yeah. <laughs> And you married him. <laughs> <laughs> that is, again, that will only happen in Glasgow. <laughs> you call someone a cunt and their wife goes, yep. Yeah. Sex is always better in hotels. Have you noticed that, ladies and gentlemen? Sex is always better in hotels. Yeah. Why is that? Is it because it's with a hooker? Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to what, sorry? Because you don't have to clean the sheets. <laughs> How are you fucking her? <laughs> that there's a whole. Maybe later, Jimmy. Maybe later. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> a little bit of the bum sex going on. <laughs> I always think you know you're doing something bad sexually. Bad in a good way. When you think we better put a towel down before that happens. <laughs> you think you always know we're doing something a bit experimental. Yeah, we better just cover that first, because. <laughs> Yeah, I've never done this before. It could end badly. <laughs> I don't even know if you're going to make it through, but good luck, love. <laughs> what, sorry? Posh prick. <laughs> Posh prick seems a bit harsh. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your name, sir? Miles. <laughs> Miles. <laughs> and you think I might be a bit posh? All right, Miles. What's your favourite colour? Blue. Seems like the fairest way to deal with this. <laughs> you get some B L U E. Number between one and eight, Miles. Four. Four. All right. Ooh. It says if you've come as a cunt, you've won. <laughs> Bit of good news. Interesting little fact for you obsessive Star Trek fans are known as. <laughs> Virgins. I don't like it when the tabloids are homophobic, because they're such an important part of our culture, the tabloids. When they get it wrong, it sends a very bad message. Do you remember last year when they outed a footballer? Which is a terrible thing to do anyway. They outed this footballer, and in the course of the article where they outed this guy as a homosexual, they described consensual oral sex between two adults, yeah? Two fellas sucking each other off. <laughs> they described that as a prank. <laughs> How demeaning to homosexuals is that? To have that act of lovemaking described as a prank. <laughs> and it also doesn't work from the other point of view because I like to think of myself as something of a prankster. <laughs> but I don't think I've ever said, <laughs> Gotcha! <laughs> don't forget the balls. I... Bless you. You really do care. Where about you from, sir? You're from New York. Yeah. What are you doing over here? Do you mind me asking? I'm work. I'm an angel now. You, you do something? You moved here for work? Yeah. What, what sort of work do you do? I mean, I'm not suggesting I need to see your papers, but... <laughs> what are you bringing to the party? Uh, finance and IT. Finance and IT? I can't really think what that is. Is that cash points? <laughs> Hang on, you're, you're looking at ATNs. <laughs> It's our language, you fucking ruined it. <laughs> oh. yes. Next time you have a fight with someone, stop getting us involved.
<laughs> you're, you're getting blamed for everything. Go on, you can. If it weren't for us, we'd be speaking German. <laughs> Sorry, if it wasn't for you, we'd be speaking German. How little do you know about our language abilities? <laughs> There's no way we'd have picked it up in 60 years. <laughs> any more for any more? Who the fuck has a side part in? <laughs> You're going to kick yourself when I tell you. <laughs> Me. Bestiality. Bestiality. <laughs> Well, easy, easy. Let's just think this through, because bestiality, a lot of people just write off as a terrible thing. Let's look at both sides. Let's say you fuck a cow, and that could happen. <laughs> you sound like a nutter. <laughs> no, let, let's imagine you fuck a cow. You haven't actually harmed the cow. Cows are fucking enormous. <laughs> You're not going to trouble it with your tiny cock. <laughs> but, but, you know, but you've probably just stressed the animal. Daisy's probably thinking, what the fuck is he up to? <laughs> On the upside, though, you've had a whale of a time, and if you have a baby with a cow, it'll be a minotaur. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's like Bully from Bullseye. <laughs> Just putting it into terms he'll understand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dad? What is the worst gift you've ever got? Birthday, anniversary, Christmas, Valentine's. What is the worst piece of shit you ever got? <laughs> <clears throat> We've had a heckle. Go on, what, what was that? Say a little bit louder. <laughs> no, that was fine. Uh, sir, what, what's your name? Toby. What? What? Sorry. Toby. Toby. Toby, do you mind me sharing with the group? Thank you very much indeed, Toby. That makes it much easier. Because there's a heckle. It's quite a good heckle, quite a funny heckle. But we have to do a heckle put down now. God. <laughs> I would love if I could just let it go, but I can't. <laughs> there are rules. <laughs> but you don't mind me sharing with the group, so it makes it much easier. We can go old school. Stop what, sorry? Stop stalling. Stop stalling. <laughs> don't panic, sir. <laughs> I've got this. I'll have to put you on asshole waiting. <laughs> Uh, Toby's mum <laughs> is so fat. <laughs> She's a fucking disgrace, Toby. Your mum is such a chunky monkey wobble slob. <laughs> Fatty boom batty blubber naught. She's so fucking fat, when she fell down the stairs, I thought EastEnders had finished. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. True story. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> you, sir. <laughs> what did you say? What was it? Stop stalling? Yeah? What, what's your name? Gary. Are you trying to say Gary? <laughs> watch me. Gary. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> the fuck is that? Well, Gary, if you want my comeback, you'll have to scrape it off your mum's teeth. 